What about you? Welcome to our Premier Lawns video. I get a lot of questions about how to look after your newly laid lawn. I interviewed Colin Serrad this week and he owns and runs Emerald Lawns. They're one of Ireland's biggest turf growers and he's going to give us the lowdown on how you should look after your newly laid lawn. He also gave us a behind the scenes look at how those guys harvest the turf and how they maintain it. So stick around. I'm Colin Sherrard from Emerald Lawns. We are uh, turf growers based uh, near Limavady, between Limavady and Coleraine, along the coast. And we have 170 acres here dedicated to lawn turf production. The soil type is very unique here and that is a very sandy soil, which allows us to produce turf and have it available all year round. Lawn turf, that's one of the major benefits of it. You can actually lay it all year round. 12 months of the year as opposed to seed. Uh, establishing a lawn from seed, you're obviously seasonally restricted. With lawn turf, you're effectively buying time. We take all the growing pains out of it. We establish it from seed, and it's at least 12 months old then before it's harvested. It goes through a lot of treatments of feeding it the full maturity, selective weed killers to remove all weeds, and establish a mature sward. Probably the most important thing with turf to remember is effectively when you buy lawn turf, you're buying time, all, all the headaches are taken out of it. Ground preparations essentially the exact same. You need to get your topsoil firm and level, pre-seeder, pre-turfing fertilizer in the ground and then roll out the lawn turf. It would normally be laid as soon as possible after delivery and certainly within 24 hours because lawn turf on light seed, it is a mass of living growing plants and therefore they require light and they require air and lawn turf comes obviously rolled up the grass leaf uh, doesn't have exposure to air or light and therefore it will create respiration and heat build up and will deteriorate very quick much like a tree or a shrub on a transplant you're looking for the new roots then to establish so it's really important that it's absolutely saturated with water immediately upon laying depending on rate of evaporation, you need to keep it well watered on a daily basis. Otherwise, the turves would shrink, you'll get gaps between the joints and start- How much water do you think it needs every day? Again, depending on the rate of evaporation, but we would suggest aim for at least one inch and that will require a sprinkler. It's no use standing with a hose. You need to get a sprinkler onto your hose, put it at the furthest point away because the ground's going to be very soft with all the watering and if you need to move the sprinkler then you can catch the hose and pull it across the lawn without having to cross out uh, over the fresh turf at all. And uh, normally we'd suggest a vessel, something like a jam jar, placed on it and that way you can see at a glance uh, when you've got roughly an inch in it, that should be sufficient for the day. So the, the, the rule is, if in doubt, you can't overwater it, keep plenty of water on it. That'll normally, depending on the time of the year, the soil temperature will dictate, like any tree or shrub, any plant, that'll di dictate the rate of rooting. So you should normally expect to see the new roots when you lift uh, the corner of the sod and ha off the turf and have a look at the underside, the little white roots will be starting to come. So normally within a couple of weeks after it's laid, it should be ready for its first mowing. You obviously don't water for a couple of days so that the ground dries out and firms up so that you're not putting footprints through it all and have the mower set so that you're really only taking the tips off. Then it's frequency of mowing. Uh, if you want to get the height down, get in within a few days again at probably same height. Always normally mow at same height for two mowings because you don't want to put the, the plants under shock and cause root retraction. Frequency of mowing is important. The joints will disappear after two or three mowings. Essentially, it'll look like a lawn that's been grown from seed is at least 12 months old and should be weed free and uh, ready to enjoy basically from that stage on. Welcome back. I'd just like to thank Colin and his team for letting us come up to Emerald Lawns to film that video. I want to say that this wasn't a paid for or sponsored post. Colm, you guys had a question and I thought Colm was the best person to answer for it. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, if you could hit that like button down below, subscribe for more content like this, 
I post regular content on how to take your lawn to the next level. If you can just smash the like button, it really helps me out and it helps me grow my channel. Now, before I go, I don't actually do turfing or seeding lawns, although I can recommend a really good landscaper called Trevor Ford. I'll put his website down in the description of this video. I've worked with Trevor a number of times in the past and his work is absolutely amazing. Thank you again for watching. Now, I'm going to put on two videos here and here that I think you'll like, so make sure you check one of those out after you watch this one. Again, see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Goodbye.